My high school years, I was trying to learn the language, trying to make friends, trying to fit in. I was trying to figure out who, who am I, really. And then when I came to Alberta's, it's just as if like I just started growing and all the doors just started to open and I was just, uh, I, get, I get emotional, so every time um, I think about that. I moved to Connecticut in 1989. I was 14 years old from the Philippines. I joined my mom and my stepdad, went straight to high school. When I was at Platt High School, one of my counselors actually went to Alberta's. She's an alumna, her name is Eileen Benoit. She volunteered to even take me to Alberta's. My mom, she was fairly new here and she didn't know how to drive and we couldn't afford a car. I didn't know how to get here. I didn't want to disturb my friend's parents to bring me here. So I just had to be honest and direct to my counselor. I said, I don't know how to get to New Haven. So if you can take me, I'd love to see the college. First time I stepped foot at Alberta's, I just felt like a family. When I was here, I got myself very busy. So I got very involved with, I became the president of the business club. I was part of the student government. I was elected treasurer and then became an acting president of my class. And I just kept adding on because I felt like I wanted to be part of something. My fear was I wasn't gonna be able to finish college because I can't afford it. My family can't afford it. When I was here at Alberta's, I had to do all sorts of things. I was doing the work study program. On weekends, I joined the maintenance crew. Anything that I can think of as far as side jobs, I have a lot to say and I have a lot to contribute to our diverse students here at Alberta's. It's good for them to know that one of our trustees is just like one of us, you know. He struggled when he was here financially, but he made it. Over half of our student population are students of color, and also we have a good majority of them that are first generation. And Alberta's gives them that opportunity that I was given. When people know that you care about your studies, there's always people that are willing to help, and Alberta's does that, but you also have to do your part. It's really a humbling experience to be surrounded by a lot of generous trustees who love and care about this college. Some of them were trustees when I was a student here. So I'm excited to represent our student body. This college is doing a lot of things to be more diverse, to be more inclusive. Our board of trustees is, is starting to look like our student body. It's changing for the good. I feel like we're just getting started. We're just scratching the surface as far as Alberta's for the next 100 years.